who slid into whose DM first? What was that first date like? Like, give us the story. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell this part because I love it. Um, so Tony, um, we were both in relationships previously and kind of admired each other from afar on Instagram. We followed each other on Instagram, but we were both respectful. We weren't like liking each other's pictures really or DMing each other. And um, one day Tony just DM me and she said, hey, and I was actually sitting on the couch with my roommate and I was like, bro, that girl, Tony, you know, that I had mentioned, just DM'd me and said, hey, and I was like, but I knew she was with someone. I was like, oh, I don't know if she's still with someone. I don't know what the deal is. I was like, I'll answer and like play it out. But like, if she's with someone, I don't want anything to do with that. And we ended up talking and going back and forth. And she said something funny, like, I didn't think you'd actually see this DM <laughs> um, I, or else I wouldn't have just said, hey, because it was literally just <laughs> H-E-Y. Because I was like, I'm going to shoot it and I'm going to say, hey, but like, she's probably not going to see it. So I'm not putting too much time. <laughs> <laughs> We, we hit it off and I ended up having a WWE show like a few hours from her house two days later. And so I was like, actually, tomorrow I'm gonna be a couple hours from your house. I was like, why don't you drive up and I'll get you tickets to the show and then I'll take you to dinner after. And so Tony drove. I went up by myself, drove three hours. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I was like, but this is crazy and I'm just gonna enjoy every minute of it. Let's just see what happens. And I was not supposed to be on the show that night. So I was like, oh, it'll be perfect. Like she can see what I do, but I won't have to perform in front of her the first time I meet her. And then I'll take her out to dinner after when the show ends, whatever. And last second I got put in a match at the end of the show. And I was like, oh my gosh, this girl's sitting in the front row. I have to do my entrance. I have to wrestle now in front of her. And we haven't met yet. We never in real met, life. we've never even seen each other. So I show up to the show and I'm just sitting there by myself in the front row. <laughs> so I um, went over to one of the makeup artists that works for WWE and I said, hey, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to go out in the audience, find this girl and let me know if she like looks cool and, and hot in real life. <laughs> Cause I'm like, so I'm like, am I gonna get catfish? Like, I don't know what's happening. And she's like, all right, all right. So she goes out in the crowd and finds Tony and comes back and she's like, dude, not only is she smoking hot, but she's sitting in the front row, sipping on a beer, chilling by herself. All the like college boys in the row behind her are hitting on her. And she's just like laughing it off and like just <laughs> hanging out. And I was like, okay, good. So I go to do my entrance. I see her instantly. I'm like, oh my God, she's she like her, her energy, her vibe was just so like strong. Her presence was so like profound and she was so beautiful. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. I can perform in front of millions of people, but this one girl is making me nervous. And so, I like did my entrance and tried to like act cocky still and I like gave her a wink at the end and um, wrestled whatever, got on the show. It was like 11.30 by the time I got out, we missed our reservations. And I was like, what are we gonna do? So long story short, found a hole in the wall bar, stayed there for like six, seven hours that night mm -hmm. and just talked and yeah, <laughs> the yeah. rest is history. <laughs> That is like the wildest story ever. And I got to tell you, I got, I love that Tony, you just went for it. I think that's so amazing because you know, we're presented so many of these wild scenarios in our lifetime. And I think it's great that you just went for it. Like, did you ever think by taking that three hour drive, you'd now be here, part of this duo and just oh, living absolutely not. Absolutely not. I still say it all the time. I'm like, do you remember that first night? Not even the first night, but the first night was so good. And then the next morning we had to like leave each other. She had to fly home, I had to drive home. And I was like, what just happened? Do you ever feel like, did that really just happen? Yeah, it was crazy.